I think I just, I don't know, it was just one of them things like a lot of other AFL footballers, you just start playing when you're young. I guess slowly you, you go through the ranks and I had a little bit of height, not a hell of a lot of talent, got into some representative squads and found my way to Geelong Footy Club. Around 21 in 2006, I, yeah, I sort of went back to fly the ball and uh, yeah, there was oncoming, two oncoming players. And I just kind of at the last second turned my body to kind of flinch. Oh! Yeah, sure enough, he was coming the other way and, and we both collided and I just thought he was winded, you know, he was making sounds that sounded like he was winded, just like an average guy that had been collected. We just thought he'd copped a pretty heavy knock or a very heavy knock, um, as happens in a game of footy from time to time. And we got on with playing the game. Literally straight afterwards, I wanted to vomit, crawl off the ground. Um, and the trainers come up to me and said, oh, I think you're only winded but I knew it was a lot more than just win. But I don't think we fully comprehended um, how serious and how uh, full on it all was. It wasn't until maybe two days later that I got a call from my manager, Paul Connors, and, and he obviously manages a few of the Geelong boys, and, and Paul actually just informed me on how serious the situation was. I was in a coma for, induced coma for five, four or five days. My family came in and with the doctors and sat me down and told me what had happened, yeah, lost, lost my right kidney, so I was all a bit of a shock. I think the first thing he said to me was, mate, I've seen the tape and, and don't stress, I don't hold any grudge, you know, I know that it wasn't on purpose. So it was very reassuring to hear him say that. You can imagine after kind of three weeks of not really knowing how he was or whether he was gonna come back at all, because it was pretty touch and go there for a couple of days. So. Um, it was so serious and he'd lost a kidney that you know, there's, no, there's, there's more important things than footy. Uh, and we thought, oh, well, you know, he'll, he'll finish up there be, because it's just too serious to go on. Uh, after I got injured, it, it was the seventh senior game I'd played and, um, you know, when I got back to AFL level, I set myself the goal of just wanting to get my name on the locker, um, 100 games. And having only the one kidney now, like, you know, it, it makes you think, I don't know whether I'd be courageous enough to do the same thing. So, you know, for him to make that choice and, and to come back and achieve what he's done, you know, it's a credit to him. He's just, he, it just speaks of his character. You know, I knew I was coming from a long way back, but that was my ultimate goal to play 100 games. And, um, you know, to be here now on the verge of 100 games is, I'm pretty proud of the achievement.